This is the Samsung T7 Shield SSD. Today we'll be going over what's inside the box, how to set up this SSD, how to use it on your computer and also how to use it on your smartphone whether that be Android or iPhone. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest then feel free to check it out. Alright guys let's see what's inside the box. So first of all nice packaging right here by samson okay so there's a white box inside the box nice as you open the white box you are greeted with the samson t7 shield ssd well i wasn't expecting it to be this small you also get two cables inside the box one of them is a usb-c to usb-c and the other one is a usb-c to regular usb-c after that we get the manual which you know already we don't read manual around here one thing I realize as I'm opening the box is that you don't get a travel case with this SSD and I believe that is because this SSD is so durable you don't need a travel case. It is strong right outside of the box. This SSD is built like a helmet. Samsung said it can survive drops of up to 10 feet. It has this rubbery texture which I like. I can tell that this texture will reduce the scratches from getting on this SSD. I like the fact that they include two types of cable inside the box because even though USB-C is really common these days, not every computer comes with USB-C. Now let's set up this SSD. So all you need to do is plug in the SSD in your computer and it should pop up right away. Here you're going to get the option to install the Samsung software if you want. Inside the Samsung software, you can change the name of the SSD and even set up a password if you want. But please remember that password if you decide to use a password. Because if you forget that password, then the SSD will become useless. And this is only because Samsung wants to protect your data. So if your SSD is last and someone finds it and doesn't know the password, then they won't be able to access your data, which is really good. On the box it says that you can use this SSD on Windows, Mac and Android. But it didn't mention iPhone and that is because you need an Apple Lightning to USB camera adapter. I don't have one but basically you just need to plug the adapter in your iPhone on the other end and have the power source connected to one port and the SSD connected to the other port. If you go into files you should see the SSD pop up and you can transfer files easily. To use the SSD on your Android phone all you need to do is plug the SSD inside your Android phone and then it should pop up in the notification panel. All you need to do is click on it and it should bring you to all the files that are on your SSD. You can also view the files that are on your SSD or even watch the videos that are on your SSD. Now let's test the transfer speed. Samsung said that this SSD have a read speed of 1050 megabytes per second and a write speed of 1000 megabytes per second. Now let's see how fast that is in real life. I will transfer a few files from my laptop to the SSD and see. Wow, that's fast. Now let's test that read speed. I'm going to do that by simply opening and playing a video that I just transferred to the SSD. Yet as was released a year ago in 2021, and after a year, I finally decided to get myself one. Yes, I got myself a ear tag. Wow, that is fast. Alright guys, so after using this SSD for about a week, I can definitely say that it's really efficient and mobile. The main reason why I got this was because my laptop was running out of space and I wanted a faster way to transfer my footage from my iPhone to my laptop. Because when I'm uploading my footage to my iCloud it can be slow at times and I can only do it when I have a good internet connection. From now on I'll be storing all my footage and project files on this SSD. By doing that my laptop will move even faster since it doesn't have to read and write data from the SSD that is inside. But that's it for this video guys, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns about the Samsung T7 Shield SSD in the comment section. Also if you reach this far in the video please comment a floppy this emoji with fast so I know that you made it this far in the video. If you want to find out more about this laptop that I'm using then check this video out.